Good day guys and welcome to your fourth tutorial inside Click Team Fusion 2.5. Today we're gonna take a look at the difference between an active object and a backdrop object and we're gonna take a look at what they really mean and what their purpose in life is. So we're just gonna straight up click on the new project icon to make a new project, double click on our thumbnail to go into our level editor or also known as a frame editor and we are going to double click onto the empty canvas and double click on active object and put the active object object on there then we are going to double click again and then we're gonna select on a backdrop then we are gonna um, drag the backdrop around the frame just so it stays away from the active object just for now for now we are going to explain what an active object is an active object is also known as a sprite in Scare Construct 2 and is mostly known as a sprite in most game development um, talks so terms so this active object the difference between an active object is and a backdrop object is that an active object is an object that can move an active object is an object that can have animations and an active object is an object that can have conditions like um, it can have collision detection if it's colliding against something else it can have movement and it can have uh, it can also have um, events such as destroy create new ones and stuff like that a background a backdrop object however does not have any movement at all a backdrop object is just there to be a backdrop it's just there to be a background either a background or just a tile a block or something like that the example used for a backdrop object would be the road for example if you are making a platform game the active object would be the player and the backdrop object would be the thing that the player steps on the backdrop object never moves the backdrop object is the, is just there to be a backdrop so let's jump straight and make a practical example of what this means so you are going to double click on your active object you are going to click on clear or control plus n then you're going to color color your um active object let's make it um orange for example because that's what goku is always wearing and we are just gonna double click on a backdrop object and clear this as well and we are just going to color this green because you know the grass is always green not only on the other side so we are just gonna go to our backdrop object and go to the properties and the size properties and we are gonna change the size to 32 by 32 and we are just going to click on this and set your grid to 32 by 32 enable the grid over here and enable snap to grid so after enable snap to grid you're gonna right click on it and you're going to duplicate the object reduce the rows to one and add more columns like eight of them now click on your active object click on the movement tab and then click on the type of the movement and change it to platform movement now select the backdrop object or this one then go inside of your runtime options. So inside of your runtime options, you are going to go to obstacle type and you're gonna select obstacle. So what this does is that it makes sure that the platform object stops when it collides with this thing. I mean, what this does is it defines this as an obstacle object. So the platform should stop if it collides with that thing. So right now you're gonna click on your active object you're gonna go to your event editor and you're just gonna do something very easy i'm gonna explain this in the next set of tutorials in the next videos but for now just go along with me as you can see there is no backdrop object at all here there is no green stuff in here just the orange stuff because that is the active object so go and say collisions click on the new condition tab of the button just right click over here say collisions backdrop so it what this does is it checks if it collides with the backdrop if it collides with the background 
then it's gonna go here and right click and say movement stop so this makes it stop when it collides with the backdrop so we're gonna run the frame by pressing f7 and there you go if you press f2 it's gonna restart the, um if you press uh, F7 again, it's gonna restart the frame. And if you press Shift, it's gonna make a little jump. If you press left and right, it's gonna move around the frame. So there you have it, a fully functional small platform game. And you also have um, an idea of what the plat of what the active object means and what the backdrop object means. So just a small recap: an active object is a sprite that can move, that can have animations. For example, you can have more animations of this. Let's just color this something else, and go to direction options, go to loop. You're gonna play that, and it flashes like that. However, a backdrop object does not have any animation at all. It's just one static image. So if you replay that frame again, you can see that your active object is flashing around like crazy because you can add an animation to it. So that's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next set of tutorials. We are probably gonna cover up the event editor or something else like that. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to subscribe, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it and tell me how I can get better and share to your friends if you have any friends that want to make games but don't know how to make games or don't know coding and stuff like that. Thank you.